Like what I do here? Become a patron at patreon.com slash Karen Terry. Lilies symbolize purity and beauty, and they're also the flower of women loving women. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about flowers. Yes, flowers. Way back when, when I made my symbolism video, flowers was one of the things that I mentioned that you could use for character symbolism. Flowers is a symbolic language that has been used across the world for centuries. You can find it in mythology, fiction, historical medicine. It is everywhere in every culture, and you can express basically anything you want with flowers. And there are so many creative ways you can write this. Maybe a character has a flower for a name, or maybe they're given flowers as a gift, or they grow flowers in their garden, or maybe a certain flower is like always on their clothing or jewelry or in art around their home. So many possibilities, so many different ways you can do this, and today we're going to go into four flowers and what they mean. Daisies are a small grassland plant that typically has flowers with a yellow disc and typically white rays, though red is also a common color. They are part of the Asteraceae family, which includes over 32,000 currently accepted species in over 1,900 genera and 13 subfamilies. Daisies symbolize innocence, purity, and faith. According to Celtic legend, whenever an infant dies, the gods sprinkle flowers all over the fields to comfort the parents. In Norse mythology, the daisy is Freya's sacred flower. As the goddess of love, beauty, and fertility, daisies are sometimes given to new mothers. In Roman myth, Vertumnus, god of seasons and gardens, becomes enamored with Belides, a nymph. He continuously pursues her, and in order to escape his affections, she turns herself into a daisy. In Hamlet, Ophelia's innocence is compared to a daisy. She picks one up and sets it back down because she believes there is no more innocence left in the court. Daisies are also the birth month flower of April, which is when spring is in full swing. And they're edible. You can put daisies in your salad if you want to. Roses are a woody perennial flowering plant of the genus Rosa. There are over 300 species of roses, and they're incredibly popular due to their large, showy blossoms and in a variety of colors. Roses are known for their unique and elegant scent. However, over the years, as we've bred them to have bigger and bigger blossoms, they've lost a lot of their scent, and there is a movement to breed that unique smell back into them. But this is why, like, store-bought roses often don't really smell like much of anything. Each color of rose has a different meaning. The traditional red rose symbolizes true love. White roses symbolize silence, innocence, purity, or secrecy, and a dry white rose symbolizes sorrow. Yellow roses symbolize friendship or joy and are given as an apology. Pink roses symbolize grace, youth, or gratitude. Orange roses symbolize desire or passion. Violet roses symbolize love at first sight. Black roses symbolize death, hatred, mystery, or danger. The rare blue rose symbolizes mystery or attaining the impossible. Rhodes buds without the full bloom symbolize beauty and youth. Roses are widely used in beauty products and have been used as a fragrance for centuries. In Greek mythology, they're associated with the goddess of love, Aphrodite. Following the Christianization of the Roman Empire, the rose became identified with the Virgin Mary. The color of the rose and the number of roses received has symbolic representation, which is where a lot of our symbolism on rose color comes from today. The rose symbol eventually led to the creation of the rosary and other devotional prayers in Christianity. In 1986, President Ronald Reagan signed into law using the rose as the floral symbol of the United States. A poppy is a flowering plant in the family Papaveraceae. They have colorful flowers, usually red, white, or yellow. One species of poppy is the source of opium and has been used for centuries as a narcotic. The seeds are also edible. For this, it's no wonder that poppies in general symbolize sleep, imagination, and oblivion. Due to these symbols already being part of the poppy, 
and the trench warfare in Flanders, Belgium taking place in poppy fields, they have also become a symbol of remembrance of soldiers who've died during wartime. Specific colors of poppies also have specific meanings, though it's usually derived from the ideas of sleep and imagination. Red poppies symbolize pleasure, sacrifice, and remembrance. White poppies symbolize dreams, peace, and consolation. Yellow poppies symbolize wealth or success. Edible poppy seeds contain trace amounts of morphine and codeine, so in ancient Egypt, just the seeds even were used as a painkiller. In The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, a magical poppy field threatens to make the protagonists sleep forever. Because of its strong primary colors, it is used in Albania, Kosovo, and California as a national or state flower. Lilies are part of the genus Lilium. They grow from bulbs and have large, prominent flowers and come in a wide variety of colors, including white, red, and orange. There are also lots of flowers that have lily in their name but are not true lilies, including daylilies. Lilies symbolize purity and beauty, and they're also the flower of women loving women. The word yuri, commonly used to refer to the genre of Japanese media that features female lovers, is also the word for lily in Japanese. The use of the term lily to describe women loving women in fiction has also spread to South Korea and China. Also in China, lilies are used in weddings because they symbolize 100 years of love, and during weddings, they're a symbol of luck for the marriage. In another nod to womanhood, lilies are associated with the Greek goddess Hera. According to myth, Zeus wanted baby Hercules to drink the milk of Hera, his wife. But because Hercules was born of another woman, Hera disagreed. Zeus tried to make this happen anyway by taking advantage of Hera when she slept, but she woke up and pushed him and the baby Hercules away. The drops of milk that spilled on the ground grew into lilies. Lily is also the most popular flower name for girls. Marigold is a flower in the family Astraceae, just like a daisy, but they specifically have a dome of yellow or orange petals instead of the yellow in the middle and white petals on the outer rim. Like daisies, they're edible, but fun fact, rabbits don't like them, so planting marigolds in your vegetable garden can help deter rabbits from nibbling on your carrots. Marigolds were seen as sacred by the Aztecs, and today you'll see them featured heavily in the Mexican holiday Dia de los Muertos. They are believed to draw in spirits with their fragrance and bright colors, so they're used to decorate grave sites, altars, and shrines that honor and remember the dead. In Hinduism, marigolds are associated with the sun. They're also associated with the goddess Lakshmi and Lord Vishnu, who are seen as the ideal couple. As a result, marigolds are often used in marriage celebrations. In Victorian flower language, marigolds are a symbol of grief, despair, and mourning, so kind of similar to how they're used in Mexico, only a lot more on the grief side and less on the celebration side. Marigolds are also the birth flower of October. Flower symbolism is ancient and pervasive across human cultures. So did you learn something from this video? Are you going to implement some flower language and flower symbolism into your writing? Let me know all of that down below. Or of course, if you already do this, I would love to hear about your favorite flowers to use in writing. And don't forget, of course, as always, to make it a great day.